Hey guys, so this is kind of really late. Also, sorry if you can hear my flatmate, she's on Skype right now, and I need to record videos, so I'm just gonna power through. But I don't even mind that this is late, because everyone loves favorite videos, right? So I'm just stretching it on into the month so that, you know, now that you're tired of favorites videos, I can just show up and do one. At any rate, sorry for the delay in this video, and now on to my October favorites. The first one is this Butter London Polish. Now, I have always been really opposed to Butter London Polishes because I weren't, heard they weren't great formula, and also they're really expensive. I think I paid... I don't remember how much. I bought it on eBay, but I paid quite a lot for this, more than I would a normal nail polish. But this color is gorgeous. Um, Allison of Allison, or Amerique's posted about this, and this is Wallace, and I'm wearing it right now, if you can see it, and it's just gorgeous. It's such a great khaki green color that I haven't seen anywhere else, and so I just went for it. And I love it. It doesn't have the greatest. It chips. Um, I will say that, as you can tell from my horrible nails. But this has been on a while, so it lasts longer than, like, Essie polishes. Next one is the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. I love my lip balms, as I've said before. I love mint ones. They're my favorites. My Smith's Rosebud Mint Salve sits by my bed. It has a coveted place on my bedside table and this is the greatest one for kind of walking around throughout the day. I love it. It's really nice. If you guys know of any other mint lip balms let me know because they're my favorite and I'm dropping them. Next is a lipstick from Topshop and I was trying to get Beguiled lipstick for the longest time but I just couldn't get it and then I saw this baby and this is Wicked. It's in like the cool black packaging and it looks really intimidating but when you swatch it it's still pretty intimidating, but it's just really gorgeous. It's a really nice, um, berry, kind of vampy, but not quite vampy lipstick that I've been loving in the fall. The next thing are a pair of jeans, actually, and these are the Topshop Lee jeans that I know other people have talked about a lot on YouTube, but I've never tried them until recently, and I love these. These are going to be appearing in my next video, which is an autumn haul, and it's a doozy. Looking at the stuff right now, and I'm not excited to film it because I'm going to try everything on. It's going to take ages. Anyway, Topshop Lee jeans, they're really stretchy, really comfy, and also I love this color. I love, like, the acid wash, but dark. Really nice. I love those a lot. Next is another thing I'll show better in my haul, and it is this Zara jacket. And I bought this a couple months ago, but it wasn't cold enough to wear it until this month in October. It just plummeted in, in temperature in London. It was horrible. But um, yeah, it's this great. It has like nice furry stuff on the inside, and it's like a men's kind of tuxedo-ish jacket. It's got large shoulders. It's really loose. It's a small, but it's still really big on me because that's like the style of it and I really like it. I love oversized clothes and I love bulky clothes. That's kind of my thing. And now on to random favorites. I didn't have too many fashion or beauty products because I haven't really had time to do that sort of thing, but I should have a lot for November. Anyway, um, the first random favorite is Grey's Box, and you might have heard of Grey's Box. Um, essentially, it's UK only, I believe, but you pay about four pounds every week, and they send you four different types of snacks. This one's empty, so I don't have an example, but um, they send you four snacks and you can pick one. It's really fun. It's a fun thing and also they're really small like boxes and so they're great to take to uni and eat them between classes, things like that. Love and Grey's box. Also, um, anyone who signs up gets a code and then whoever uses that code gets their first box free, so my code is down below and if you want a free Grey's box and just to try it out then you can use that. Um, yeah, I'm not being sponsored by Grey's box. Everyone who has Grey's box can have that code. Next are Butterfingers. Now Butterfingers are something that I didn't realize how much I liked until I had no access to them and I was craving them one day and so my mom brought me some when she came over here and they're delicious. That's all I got for you. And the last one is Primark. That's... what? I think everyone's been noticing how Primark's gotten better and better uh, over this year. They have gotten more expensive but their products are also just nicer. I feel like there's a big, there's a fine line between their nice stuff and their not nice stuff, and you can tell, like, whenever you're buying jumpers, you can, like, feel the difference between the nicer ones and the shitty ones. And I've been loving Primark, and I have a few things in my Primark haul, but just in general, like, I've picked up a lot of random things from there over the last few months. They're good. Oh, one more thing. I have a new blog, a Kaylee's Closet blog. Actually, you can go to www.kayleescloset.com because I registered the domain name because why the hell not? Um, so you can, yeah, I'll link to that down below. It's brand new. I'm going to be posting quite frequently on there. I think I have a lot of good ideas, so 
hopefully that'll go well. And that is all for me for this favorites video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what your October favorites were in the comments if you're not tired of talking about them. And I'll see you in my haul, which will be up in a few days. Bye guys! <laughs>